Hi everyone, my name is Chevisini George and uh, I like to make a short video to explain, um, teach you how to use the onboard tile lithium recrystallizer plate. Um, first I I must uh, I must apologize because uh, my English is not the best. I have never learned in school, just autodidact from games. And in my childhood was the, was the uh, Cartoon Network uh, <laughs> English. And uh, beside the joke, um, sorry for that. If I if I'm not perfect, if I say something not perfect, but the will to help uh, to understand that uh, great trait was bigger than the, sh uh, the, the fear of shame. So, uh, about the trade, uh, we need to read the des description very carefully because every word has a uh, meaning. Uh, you must taste every word. So, um, start. Activating an engineering breach officer ability adds bonus damage to the ship for each non-weapon subsystem at maximum power, lasting a moderate duration. Then it adds a power to whichever subsystem has the least power for a short duration. Only the largest bonus damage applies if this triggers more than once. By default, subsystems have a maximum of 125 power, but certain abilities can improve this limit. This bit of clever engineering gathers and refines ways to dilithium extracting trace fragments and encouraging the, them to f uh, from usable refined crystals, blah 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 blah. The important you gain for every non weapon system at maximum level 10 percent bonus all damage all damage yes it means all damage if you fart on your bridge and it has an exotic or um, um, I don't know psionic or something else uh, damage then it will also boost it but um, seriously it is all damage that will boost everything on your ship uh, and it, it will last uh, for uh, 35 seconds. It, it, is a, it is a very uh, long duration and the 5 seconds gives you uh, a possibility to overlap the trade itself. So, what do you need to have to trigger that trade? You need one console and it is not so big sacrifice in your build if you use that one. This is the, the enhanced plasma manifold. You can obtain it from the T1 Obert Light Science vessel. There it is. Uh, from every ship vendor, uh, you can have it for uh, 15 um, uh, K dilithium. If, if you are in a fleet and your fleet uh, participate in an armada, then you uh, can have uh, possible some. Uh, uh, Dilithium, um, um, some dilithium uh, discount, and uh, it is not so uh, expensive. You must uh, play two days, and you have your refined dilithium. You can obtain the ship. You have plus one to your admiralty and and the great console. Um, if you watch my videos uh, in my channel, I made uh, many version around this trade, um, and um, you can find uh, some hybrid, some energy weapon, um, science, um, everything around the, that uh, 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 trait, the on board dilithium trait, and I'm I'm messing around. Uh, with 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 um, intel abilities to boost it, I reached um, with uh, the soliton wave impeller a very uh, uh, good um, performance because 
I was over 300% uh, percent, uh, um, haste and um, over uh, 100k uh, uh, damage uh, spikes and max hit um, so I was I was satisfied with that trade and and what can I I, I play with them because it was a big push to my uh, torpedo build at the start um, and yeah use it use it if you have nothing else use it I show how so you need to slot if you use a macro as I do um, you need to slot in proper uh, activation sequence because uh, you need to uh, um, engineering ability it is nothing matters what you need to and yes it can the one the aux auxiliary power to the emergency battery uh, nothing matter which level you use uh, you can use it and I show why and how if your um, bridge officer cooldowns uh, are in in uh, synergy with uh, with your with your uh, activation sequence, then you can have in a two minute run. Uh, it is it can be an ISA or ISE. You can have the trade uh, max with 50, 15 uh, second, fifteen second uh, delay or that time. But all but almost you can have all the time the 20 30 percent bonus or damage so you need to activate first the obert console with that console you can have plus 62.5 shield engine and aux power for 30 sec plus 10 maximum levels shield engine and aux for 30 seconds um, it is uh, important to, uh, to, to know uh, if you have something other modifiers like the mycelial harmonic has uh, because that core has a plus five max, uh, maximum shield power modifier and you can see it it, it allows you to shield power to exceed 125 blah 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 blah, blah. so um, that means uh, to you your shield uh, need to uh, go over 130 the other two systems have has no other modifiers that means they are on default uh, 125 uh, you need to do your math you need to uh, level your uh, uh, power levels as uh, your uh, uh, power levels are because uh, to your power levels because uh, my skill tree is uh, is built up for for that trait to, to support my trait I am a, I am a human tactical character uh, and I don't have those uh, captain perks what I what what uh, example an engineering captain has and I need uh, a bit more uh, power on my uh, uh, energy levels and I choose uh, the plus uh, almost five uh, engine shield aux and weapon power and there I choose plus five all subsystem power um, uh, this skill tree worked for me well on, on science build also but um, I, I say so it is a, it is a uh, temporary uh, skill tree because I don't decided um, what I like to, to boost that was yet uh, enough to to make an energy weapon build with uh, over uh, uh, 270 uh, k on ISA 
and I did uh, the same uh, damage with my science build with the same skill tree but the the it is it, it fits better to my to my uh, uh, onboard dilithium matrix uh, a torpedo mine build. So um, with my skill tree boosted, I have my levels on over or over uh, seventy five. Uh, so um, my my math shows I have over hundred and forty. Uh, energy levels if I'm, I, I use this uh, console so uh, we need to start with the console the power level is jumping at max level the energy uh, the my uh, weapon uh, was the weakest the lowest you I have the 10 plus and before that goes down I click on my engineering ability and the trade starts to count and it is very important in the last five seconds if I hit example an aux to bot you see that was migrated uh, to the other two systems but the trade started again and I show you um, the, um, the boost on example on the enhanced biomolecular photon torpedo as you can see I hit it uh, on the aux to bot and it has a plus to one plus three thousand ki uh, kinetic damage that was three stack trust me that was three stacks and I show you the best so First, I need that was twelve. That twelve point five k. I need to start with the console. I need an engineering ability. I need to mess with my aux to bot, and I have my three time stacks. And I show you something. If if your energy levels migrated but the trait is on charge and you hit another time there's you start again and have you seen my energy levels it was just two the shield and the engine at max level at the time of the activation the aux to what second time what that means that means you need read the description carefully only the largest bonus damage applies if this triggers more than once Yoo-hoo! so it mess with the dilithium trade or not no it doesn't mess it can mess if you use two aux to bot then you limit yourself to 20% uh, percent, uh, bonus damage. But honestly, can you say another, any other Starship trait that gives you constantly and instantly that 20 from 20 to 30% bonus or damage? No, you can't, because it isn't any other. There are superior traits. I I'm using many of uh, the traits as you see the ceaseless momentum cool but um, it it has just kinetic damage okay bonus damage it is all right but it is just kinetic damage if I'm if I like to use the ruin of four enemies it is a great trait but if you are not the best on the map if you are not the biggest damage dealer it, it maybe it is it is a problem to have your stacks and keep your stacks because um, there doesn't doesn't show anywhere in the description but um, legend says it stacks up uh, uh, 30 times 
but if you are out from battle or or you will die then you lose your stacks and you must build up from start uh, it is the same with the promise of ferocity uh, you need five time stacks uh, you need 20 seconds to have those stacks at max level and if you are out from battle you lost you lose your stacks there is it bonus weapon damage for duration of combat so uh, to this state you don't need anything else just a console your energy levels migrated and to engineering bridge officer and good playing and I extend with some essential information what you need to know uh, to understand to better understand the trade uh, and it will uh, explain why can you use the Augustobot without uh, major disturbance in the dilithium trade uh, it is because the trait itself doesn't care about your bridge officer ability uh, it is uh, important that will that, that uh, will search for uh, engineer bridge officer ability usage that means if you have your three energy levels at max you can trigger it with the conventional way and you have your three time stack and if I'm hitting on my um, power uh, auxiliary power to emergency battery one it will migrate it will suck your uh, aux power down but as you see it will extend the trade and um, and you have the three time stack and it is because in the moment of the activation you had three level three energy level at max and after that happening the the migration and that's why you can use one time uh, an aux to bot and you can have three time stack on your uh, on your onboard dilithium uh, trait okay the, 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 the keywords are in the description it is the the one is here down below uh, currently at maximum and this is another one only the largest bonus damage applies uh, that means the, 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 in the worst case if you have uh, migrated energy levels that means you have just the shield and the engine at max and you you hit on uh, an engineering ability and you trigger the trait with two time uh, stack then if you had some time on the three time stack that will goes down uh, at uh, zero and after that will will switch to the two times or the lesser version but if you can use in this time uh, a three time stack another uh, th then then you have the three time stack uh, again okay in the worst case you have 20% bonus all damage just okay that's it that's what you need to understand I hope that was understandable again thanks for watching